We watch MMA for a multitude of reasons, but there's nothing quite like witnessing a fighter break into that perfect flow state. That type of performance where it looks as though they can do absolutely no wrong. For today's video, we're looking at 10 examples of MMA stars doing exactly that. Here's what happens when MMA fighters enter the matrix. And we're not holding back on this one. See Max Holloway turn 29 in December. Calvin Cater is the senior in this freshman season. Straight out of the gates, we're coming to you with Max Holloway's record-breaking performance against Calvin right, Qatar. Good. A showcase for Holloway's insane ability to cycle through combinations, unload massive amounts of volume, and somehow land with surgical precision. It got so bad for Qatar in round four that the fight probably should have been called off. Put him back on his heels. Body kick lands for Holloway. But when Max truly opened up in round five and began to talk to the commentary desk as he was ducking out of the way of Qatar's punches, yeah, this was a remarkable showcase. Max landed more shots in this fight than any other fighter in UFC history. But there were moments in here where it looked like he couldn't lose. Holloway tapped into something truly unique here, making this an all-time great performance. And we're gonna have surprises, baby, let's go! A modern entry comes in next in the form of Sean O'Malley's shocking finish of Aljamain Sterling to take home the bantamweight title at UFC 292. All through this fight, O'Malley was dialed in using his constant feints and footwork to throw Aljo off his game. And even when the champ shot for takedowns, the Sugar Show was in command of the situation. He was forcing a stand-up contest that Sterling was never going to win. And when O'Malley sprung the trap, Aljo's forward movement was countered with a perfect straight shot. Signaling the beginning of the end for both his night and his title reign, a star-making performance. I'm running this shit till 2035, baby. An early grudge match during Israel Adesanya's rise through the middleweight ranks was also major breakthrough performance for him. Those who had watched Izzy's early UFC outings were waiting for the moment that he truly opened up inside the octagon. And as it turned out, he just needed the right opponent to do so. Enter Derek Brunson. It's the best stretch of my career. Um, we're getting it done against these young, exciting, uh, hungry guys. These two guys had quite a lot of back and forth trash talk pre-fight. But when the fists started flying, Adesanya did not wait around to really make a statement. The finishing sequence here was magical. You can almost pinpoint the exact moment that Stylebender kicks into gear. And when he started to paint his masterpiece, there was absolutely nothing Brunson could do in response. It was a taste of what was to come, and further proof that Israel Adesanya was headed right to the top of the division. Yuri Prohaska seems like he refuses to fight anywhere but inside the Matrix even if his wild and flowy style isn't necessarily working for him. Oh, Yuri, no! And in each of his three UFC appearances to date, Yuri has been hurt badly and somehow still managed to find his way back to the finish. His wild style of striking is pretty much entirely based around offense, with his defense coming in the form of his incredible ability to absorb and recover from punishment. And though Dominic Reyes was having success against him in moments, Yuri just kept pushing forward, determined to make life absolutely miserable for the two-time title challenger. And when he started to truly find his flow, it was a real joy to behold. But he didn't wait around for long before delivering the fight's definitive blow. After cornering Reyes up against the fence, Prochaska deliberately off-balanced himself, putting his body in the perfect range for a rapid spinning elbow that caught Reyes right on the chin and put him to sleep. Oh, 
Conor McGregor in his prime seemed like he was constantly fighting in the matrix, incapable of making a mistake and landing his own offense with a level of efficiency that was totally unheard of. History has been and for many people, his best overall performance came when he took on the great Eddie Alvarez in his UFC lightweight debut. This wasn't even a contest, folks. Every time Alvarez tried to close the distance, it seemed like Connor was landing on his chin. There were four knockdowns in total across the fight's two rounds before McGregor put him out of his misery with a masterful four-punch combo. Boom, over the top, on the jaw, right hand, and a big one to the temple. Left hand behind it. Earning his second belt and one hell of a highlight to boot the perfect title-winning performance, and a showcase that sent McGregor's star power into the stratosphere. It takes a lot to enter the Matrix against another fighter who practically lives there. Max Holloway was one of the most creative and artistic strikers to have ever laced up gloves. But when the time came to take on Alexander Volkanovsky in their trilogy fight, it was clear there was a major gulf in quality. Volk had truly ascended to another level during this one. Everything Holloway did was met with an immediate answer. Every time he tried to take control, Alexander would beat him to the punch. And he didn't just beat him handily over five rounds, he talked to him the whole time, letting Max and the entire world know exactly who the greatest fighter on the planet was. UFC! People be trying to bring me down. I stood up and look at me now. No one can bring me down anymore. Donald Cowboy Cerrone wasn't always on, but when he was, he was often brilliant. And no stretch of form showcased this more than his run at 170 pounds back in 2016. And on that run, his victory over Rick Story was by far the best highlight of the lot. Cerrone is known for his head kicks, sure, but even by his own standards, the way he set up this one was truly astounding. This four-shot combo was made to be watched in slow motion. A 10 out of 10 finish from one of the sport's most revered veterans. It's hard to call a fight between a reigning middleweight champ and a former lightweight heavyweight champ a mismatch. But despite being bigger than the rising 185-pound king, Anderson Silva, Forrest Griffin looked totally lost in there with him. This fight did not last long either. No, this was perhaps the single greatest display of flow state we have ever seen inside the octagon. Silva was seeing everything Griffin was attempting, and he was ducking and dodging his way out of danger with a real level of disdain for Forrest's striking skills. It was as if he had absolutely no fear in there. And when he decided to start countering him, the shots looked like the most gentle, full of finesse punches possible, like Anderson was barely trying. I'm a god, man. And when Griffin finally fell, man, was it a sight to behold. Another modern entry comes in next, in the form of the fighter who is still very much in the process of figuring out his place in the sport. Ian Gary's first major stage to compete on came when he took a spot on the UFC 285 fight card that features the return of John Jones. Quite the challenge, right? Well, in the first round, Gary's opponent, Song Keenan, managed to land the perfect counter left hook, capitalizing on Gary's head position to knock him down. Instead of wilting under the pressure though, Gary rebounded in style, eventually entering the Matrix in round three for a sequence that made it look like he was seeing everything in slow motion. The finish came shortly after, marking yet another magical performance for the Irishman. Speaking of Irishmen, what better way to follow that one up than by paying tribute to the most iconic moment in the rise of Conor McGregor. To beat a decade-long divisional elite is one thing, but to chart the exact punch out just moments before in your dressing room and then hit him with that exact technique in the first 10 seconds of the fight itself? Yeah, this was a wild sight to behold. 
Connor landed this seminal left hand on Jose Aldo at the 10 second mark, followed it up with ground and pound, and was pulled off him by the ref in 13. UFC, champion of the world. Oh, Just a stunning finish.